So, good news. If you have followed me on Instagram, you probably already know it, but we paid off $25,525 dollars and 75 cents worth of debt and we are debt free and it is just a wonderful beautiful feeling i am so happy about it debt sucks and if you are looking for like a quick fix to getting out of debt then this is not the video for you because i guess we got out of debt in six months but it probably our story is a little bit different than some people who like literally started from zero. So I'm just going to share kind of what that means if you're confused because yes. So just a little bit about me. Um, I, I basically all of the debt was mine. <laughs> what the debt was, was I had a student loan, which all of that student loan was from one year at a private university, which is why I am very much a uh, proponent, is that what you say? A proponent of or advocate for going to a public university or a cheap university. If you could not afford a private university, it's just not worth it. I got a great education at a public state university. The private university was nice, but I mean, it wasn't really needed. And then I was in debt for years because of one year of school. Another part of the debt was um, a car loan. I got a car when I moved back to the States from Korea. I didn't have any savings really, so I just, you know, got a car loan. And my last one wasn't really debt, but I just considered it debt was a therapy bill. I went to therapy like three, four years ago and I never paid it off. So I started getting motivated to pay off my debt when I read The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. I was really skeptical at first because I was like, I don't really know if this is really gonna work. Like, it's not that bad to have debt, but you just read story after story. And then I would listen to the Dave Ramsey podcast and it would just get me motivated. So the first thing we did to get out of debt is we got on a budget and stuck to it. I had never really stuck to a budget. I had started lots of budgets in my lifetime and I just was not motivated, I think it was. But then I got married and I was like, you know, I should probably stick to a budget now because this is just not m my money. It's my husband's money too. So I think that really motivated me to um, stick with the budget but really this is like the key to getting out of debt you gotta get on a budget and you have to stick with it like if you don't stick with it it means nothing and it really just shows you where to put your money what you need to cut back on you're like why am i spending 500 dollars on food and i live alone like why um, that was like a real thing that happened to me when I wasn't sticking with my budget, but I noticed it, but I was like, I'm not going to do anything about it. That's don't do that. If you are looking for tips on making a budget, I may, if I can make a video, I would love to, but there's lots of videos out there. I really love watching Marissa Lida's budget videos, and I actually made a budget sheet very similar to hers. There's a lot of like free budget trackers online I really I used mint at first that's what I was using for a long time and I didn't stick to my budget um, and I think a big part of it was because it was it was doing it like automatically so I wasn't really like typing in the numbers putting everything in now that I type in numbers because I do my budgeting through Excel spreadsheets I literally am typing everything in I know where every single is going towards I feel like it just gave me a lot more I guess power and accountability that I needed to stick with the budget so if you're looking to stick with a budget maybe don't use uh, one of the automatic trackers if it doesn't really keep you accountable maybe make your own or get an Excel spreadsheet I, again I like Marissa Lida's Excel spreadsheet the best yeah or you could just like literally print out a piece of paper and write down everything, your expenses, your savings goals, your income, everything, and put that on paper if that would help you stay accountable. 
but overall the budget is really what will help you and it's not sexy it's not fun but um you gotta do it if you wanna get out of debt. The second thing we did to get out of debt that really helped us was we tracked our progress and knew exactly where we were. I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but when I was in debt, I remember I like didn't know how much in debt I was. Like I actually didn't know before I started the whole Dave Ramsey process how much money I just was like well I know I'm in debt I know it's like around this area I didn't know the exact figures and I think knowing the exact figures seeing that progress seeing you know every single month knowing exactly where I was that really helped keep me accountable and know how much longer we had to go so definitely track your progress Another thing we did was I made like a little debt mountain and I put every little block was a thousand dollars and then I would cover color it in when we would you know pay off a thousand dollars and so we were able to see visually every single day on our refrigerator how much debt we had left and that really kept me motivated. So definitely track your progress. You should know exactly how much debt you are in and how much longer to pay it off. The a third way and like kind of that we paid off our debt, I think was that we stayed motivated. I really surrounded myself with lots of motivation, listened to the podcast. I would listen to other financial podcasts and I started watching videos on YouTube, like things like this and that got me motivated to pay off debt. When I saw other people were doing it, it just made me realize I can do that too and I really wanna be one of those people one day. So that was really helpful. Just surround yourself with lots of positive influences because a lot of the world promotes debt. Listen to those podcasts, follow people on Instagram who are paying off their debt or who have debt-free journeys and that'll help you stay motivated. And then the last thing, fourth thing, and it's really kind of, I feel like makes our story a little bit different and than other people's stories is we put everything we had into it. And by that, I mean, we put all of our savings. So we actually did have savings before we started paying off our debt. So we were saving for a house in the three months, three to six months worth of expenses. We were skipping the baby steps. We didn't do it because I was really scared. And I just was like, well, we don't really need to put everything into it. Like, it's okay if we just have a little bit of savings, especially like COVID has just hit as well. What really motivated me to pay it off was we paid off my car loan, which was, I think it was like a five, $6,000 car loan. And it was supposed to take me another two years to pay it off. And we paid it off like in four, five months or something. I just remember thinking like, wow, this actually works. Like we paid it off so fast. Like we put everything we had into it, all of our savings, you know, every month through our budget, we were putting a lot of extra every month. Then I just like had this realization that we still had money. We still had savings that we could put towards our loan and we could just literally pay off our loan. That was a big motivation and I think really what did it and why we were able to pay it off so quickly is because we did have extra savings and we put all of that towards our loan instead of having like some of the loan and some of our savings. We just put everything and we had to start from zero basically again. The thing is like it's kind of silly if you think about it that you have all this debt and yet you're not putting your money towards it. <laughs> like, you have the money, you're just scared. And that's what I felt like, at least for me, I was just scared of putting all of that money towards our debt. But if you put it all, you'll realize that now all of a sudden, instead of putting that payment, you could put extra money towards your savings every month. So I think that the biggest thing was just, you know, that is putting everything that we had into our debt. And I know not everybody has that story. You know, they literally have to start from zero and pay off their debt. But I feel like there's probably a lot of people still out there who have 
savings and they have debt and they're like, it'll be fine, I'll pay off that debt eventually. But if you really wanna get out of debt, you have to put all of that towards your debt other than the, the $1,000 that Dave Ramsey recommends. So that's uh, how we paid off our debt. So what motivates you guys to get out of debt? What are some other tips that you have for people? Let me know down below in the comments and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.